Hi, I'm Sarah with Sarah Kane Photography, and I'm going to show you how to do a nice blanket fade and kind of even out this the color a bit, the shadows, and the texture. You also see there's a little spot right here. The baby had actually peed, and I just moved it up so I could still use the blanket, but we can get rid of that pretty easily. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just create a duplicate layer, and you can do that by coming over to layers right-clicking duplicate layer. I'm going to call this blanket fade. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to select the eyedropper tool, which is over here to the left. You can also quickly get to it with a keyboard shortcut, which I love keyboard shortcuts. Just the letter I, um, real quick. And then you're going to select a piece of the blanket apart. I'm going to kind of go over here to the lighter part. Just select it. You'll notice over here the color changed where the brush will be. And then you want to select the brush, the tool, the brush over here on the left or keyboard shortcut, just the letter B. And I am going to set my opacity up here at the top. If you just click on the number seven, it changes it to 70%. Again, I'm all about those keyboard shortcuts, anything to, to speed up my post-processing time because oh I do not like sitting in front of the computer I like shooting <laughs> so cut down time as much as possible all right so you're gonna over here you're gonna um, make your brush size fairly large and you're just gonna come over and holding down on the mouse just paint in and it's okay don't worry that you're getting the baby you'll clean that up later then we're gonna do one more time just around the top Next thing we're gonna do is we need to create a layer mask. So over here in the layers, on your right, you're gonna come down here and it's this little square with a circle in the middle. And you see here on the blanket fade, it created another rectangle with a white, um, a white fill. And we're gonna use our paintbrush. We're just gonna bring it down a bit. Make sure that your paintbrush is on black. You can easily toggle back and forth by clicking the keyboard letter X. You want it on black and bring your opacity your opacity back to 100% by just clicking zero. And then you're just gonna paint back the baby. I like to think of those layer masks as, um, if you remember when you were a kid, those um, coloring books that kind of like have a, almost like a lottery scratch off and then it reveals the picture underneath. Um, that's what I think of this as. So we're revealing the picture underneath. You can see the baby's back. Okay, so this is still a little bit too, it doesn't look, um, looks a little bit too processed. So you're going to take over here on the left, excuse me, over here on the right, you're going to lower the opacity of the layer till you like what you see. Um, and each one is a little bit different. So I'm going to leave it about 45%. You can, if you select the eye, you can kind of see it just made it whiter. It made it, the shadows a little more even, and then the texture a little more even. Now we still need to take care of this spot up here, but that's not a big deal. So I want to bring back part of the blanket right here just to bring that detail back. So I want to um, toggle back over to the black paintbrush and just paint along just that edge just to bring the detail right back right where the camera actually is focused on. All right, so just right here where the camera, you see this is all in focus, that's where I wanted to bring back my detail. All right, so now we want to flatten the image by if you um, click on Command, Shift, E, you see it brings it back to one layer. If you made a mistake and you want to go back, just go to your history and you can come back to any part in the picture that you like. If your history is not, window is not up, just um, windows and then history. Click on history, see it disappears. We can get it back. Okay. Okay. Um, 
So now we want to get rid of this little spot right here. So I'm going to use my cloning tool, keyboard shortcut S. I'm just going to grab a piece of the blanket from over here. You need to hit Alt if you don't know how to clone. Cloning will be your best friend. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so now I have the blanket the way I want it. Um, and it's pretty much done. All right, uh, thanks for watching. If you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, um, Sarah Kane Photog on Instagram, Twitter, and Periscope, I'm going to be releasing many more tutorials. And you can also see I have a blog post. Um, if you search under photographers, category photographers, and you search for backdrops, um, I'll show you how I get a nice smooth backdrop because that is the key before even doing this blanket page. You want your blankets nice and tight so that you don't have any wrinkles in them. It's going to make your post processing and life a lot better. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.